Hello, everyone. You, too, can have a podcast. You have a passionate voice. You want to be heard. You can be inspiration to others. And it is super easy. You all know that I am not technical. So just download the Anchor app on your phone or go to anchor.fm and get started sharing your voice and inspiring the world. Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Wow, yesterday was an evangelization overload day. Love, love, love it. If I could do that 24-7, I would not need food or sleep, just a little prayer, the Eucharist, some holy water, and off I go. Wow. So it started with Iowa Catholic Radio in the morning. They asked me to join and share about how important Catholic Radio was to me and still is to me. So that was beautiful. Helped people to hopefully give from the heart because I don't know about you, but I need my Catholic Radio. I can't live without it. There's so much still to learn. And then I had... A little interview with Anne-Marie Clobe. I'm a part of this 35-speaker thing that she has around theology of the body and talking to 35-year-old single people and how to live your faith and why do we believe what we believe. So I did a little stint on how to forgive your shameful past, how to respect your body, and how to turn away the advances that come in this oversexed, over, you know, sex driven culture. Then I shout out to WSFI. That's a local Catholic radio channel in the Chicagoland, um, Southern Wisconsin and Northeast Indiana area. They're growing. It's wonderful. I met the whole team, well, not the whole team, well, kind of. I mean, there was a whole bunch of people there when we first got there. It was wonderful. Another reason we all need to remember that we need spiritual companions on the journey. Seriously, I'm so blessed because I get to meet so many amazing people, some of whom have turned out to be super close friends. A couple of them are out in Texas. Some people just reach out through an email or they, you know, we become coaching clients and then our friendship develops after we're done in that regard. But anyway, it was so wonderful to sit for an hour with people that I didn't know and get that face-to-face emotional reaction that I would typically get from a room full of hundreds of people. I can still see it, but it's not as intimate. And it was beautiful yesterday. So why am I talking about this? Because Lisa, the person who interviewed me, was writing down all the things we had in common. That girl's pen was moving all the time. Hey, Lisa, if you're listening to this, love you. Love you, Kevin. Love you, Crystal. Love you, Angela. I mean, everyone's just so wonderful. WSFI. It's an EWTN affiliate in Chicago. All right. Um, you can go to WSFI.com. I'm not sure if that's the address or the... I'll, I'll put it in the description. I'll ver- verify it. She told me three ways you can listen to, you know, further expand 
your listening audience. Some of us get in a rut and we listen to the same people over and over. We listen to the same station. Change it up. You never know. God might be talking to you in a different way. So my whole point is this. That happens to me all the time when I'm out speaking as well. So we all have the same kind of issues, the same kind of problems, just a little unique to us in our own life, right? We're all different. We're not exactly the same. If we have an addiction, they're all different. If we have problems with vice in our life, they're all a little bit different. But they all have the same impact on us. They drive us farther from Jesus. They drive us farther from that peace, that love, that joy, and that freedom of not sinning. And when you don't sin, you don't have those horrible feelings that come along with it. The regret, the shame, the anger, the self-hatred. It's not easy when you sin because you know better, but yet we did it anyway. So that's another reason we talked about reconciliation, of course, and, you know, the beautiful sacramental graces of the church, because that is what it's all about. That's what I'm going to be speaking when I go there to, uh, which one is this? This is St. Gilbert in Gray's Lake. I think it's 630 Rosary, seven o'clock talk. I think it goes seven to nine. There will be questions and answers, but if anyone is in the Gray's Lake, Illinois-ish area, which is it's kind of close. It's northwest Illinois, pretty close to south Wisconsin, Iowa. <laughs> Come on over. Anyway, that's the important part of it is to share our stories because it makes us human. I know it's hard, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you see how you have related to a person sincerely in their heart and soul by sharing your struggles, but also sharing your triumphs, which is, I used to blah, 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 enter everything for me. But by the grace of God, and what does that even mean? God changed me. He poured out his grace into my heart, which is where everything comes from. Our thoughts, our words, our deeds. It's no longer okay just to kind of coast along in your faith life. We need to continue to develop our prayer life. That was the second thing that we talked about because it goes hand in hand. And it's not just because I'm in ministry. We need to live, as the Bible says, the two greatest commandments. And that means we have to have God first. So I'm leaving my prayer course link here for you. If you want to check it out, there's some sample days. You can see what it's all about, how, to, how it goes. But if it's not my prayer course, do something. Take that step Listen to the promptings of God. And guess what God did? <laughs> yes, spoke to me again this morning as usual in my mental prayer as I'm praying, reading the daily scriptures. The readings and the gospel, a part of the first reading and the gospel, were perfect for what I was thinking about, talking about, which was reflecting on my day yesterday. Let's go there. Okay. It is Galatians 7 through 14. And when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he clearly was wrong. For until some people came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he began to draw back and separated himself because he was afraid of the circumcised. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, with the results that even Barnabas was carried away by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not on the right road, 
in line with the truth of the gospel? I said to Cephas in front of all, if you, though a Jew, are living like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? This is our witness, (laughs) y'all. Our life shows our beliefs, or it should. Our beliefs should be reflective through our spirit and our prayer life. It should reflect in who we are. And that includes our thoughts. I used to laugh at that. Capture every thought. St. Paul, come on. How the heck do you do that? But you do. Because the minute that thought comes in, you grab it. You don't want impure thoughts. You don't want to entertain those and let them dance around and maybe even have a, a physical reaction to whatever it is that you're carrying on with in your mind. Stop that. Jesus said, even those, that the guys who look at the chicks are committing adultery in their minds because they're probably thinking beyond just what that girl or woman is, a beautiful human being, a child of God. I compliment people all the time on the beautiful things that God gave them. Could be beauty, great hair, good butt. I I actually did that once in an airport. Her name is Shannon Grella, G-R-E-L-L-A. She was walking in front of me and she had the most perfect little body and perfect like plump bubble butt, but it was, there was no fat on this. Sorry, I'm getting gross and graphic here, but it was beautiful. So I, I had to tell her and we ended up our, both of our flights were delayed and we went to the bar and we had a bunch of drinks. She gives me her card. She was an isogenic salesperson, which was like, oh, this stuff tasted horrible. But of course I tried it. It was like supposed to kind of detox you and be a part of a meal replacement thing. Anyway, you can find her, G-R-E-L-L-A, on Facebook. And she's, I think she does all the beach body stuff, but she's got a rock and bod. Anyway, yeah, I complimented her on her butt. <laughs> Woo. All right, back to back to the topic at hand because we're getting to the 10 minutes and I'm going to be late. Okay. So there you go. He's basically saying, look, if you're living, if you're living like the Gentiles and not like a Jew and you're a Jew, how are you going to get the Gentiles to live like a Jew? Cause you're not even doing it. How are you going to be that witness, be that person who allows God to change you so that you can honestly just appear different to everyone. Every time something was changing in me, my husband noticed he, he knew what was going on and he would eventually comment on it. Okay. So the gospel, this is the second part (laughs) of our day yesterday. Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he had finished, one of the disciples had said to him, Lord, Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. That's a nice twist, isn't it? So prayer, how do we pray? How do we, you know, open up that vessel connection between us and God for that grace to just pour out in us like a big old beam of light coming down from heaven. We've got to have a relationship with him. We need that silence. We need that transformation from the Holy Spirit in our heart. Today, if you have thoughts that are not of Jesus, capture them immediately. Do this today. Notice how many times that you think something bad about someone 
you're judging someone, maybe you get angry, maybe you don't say it, but you're thinking it. That was where I had to really go deeper because my thoughts were still not such good thoughts. Even though I wouldn't let them come out of my mouth or actually come out in action through this body of mine, I still was thinking evil thoughts. Anyway, it's important that we, we pay attention. So let's, let's have that be our thing for the day is to capture our thought, but also to pray for the Lord again, to change our hearts from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh so that we can love ourselves and our neighbors as we ought to, as we're commanded to. This isn't a choice and we need God to do it. Alrighty, let's wrap up in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, come Holy Spirit into our hearts like a roaring wind. Fill us all the way to the brim with your spirit. Kill any selfishness, any laziness, any fear, anxiety, worry. Fill us with your love and your peace and your joy that can only come from you. We ask, we ask that you give us courage to think and speak and do today. Give us the grace to pay attention, to have purpose and meaning in everything we do by inviting you into everything, even the dishes. So then that task becomes a beautiful prayer because automatically we're grateful for the dishes and the running water and the soap, maybe the dishwasher, all of these beautiful gifts that you've given us that we take for granted every day. That's living in the spirit and Lord, we want that. In your son's name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. I love you all. I do, I do, I do. Oh, find something more with God. And have a blessed and inspired day.